Hello and welcome to the July 2013 energy reading. My name is Adriana Elise, and you can find out more about my work at intuitiveempowerment.com. We have a wonderful month of July ahead of us with this grand water trine. Jupiter has just moved into Cancer and this is a beautiful expansive energy. Jupiter is broad perspective, it's travel, it's seeing the big picture, it's spiritual thoughts. Um, and we're having this energy move into Cancer, which is this beautiful nurturing the Earth Mother sign, the sign of the moon. And so we're having expansive clarity around the nurturing aspects and what it can bring, the realization, is that when we nurture ourselves in our bodies, and become home in our bodies, we're also nurturing the earth. So the healing that we do in our own bodies is also healing the planet. And so this grand water trine energy over the month of July is a beautiful time to um, absorb these energies, harmonize the changes that you've been going through and get clarity in the emotional realm and spiritual realm about everything that's been going on in your life so far this year. And um, so we have Mercury went to went retrograde on the 26th of June. And so it's interesting because we have this beautiful grand water trine that happens around the middle of the month, but we're going to be feeling it for the whole month of July. And that's with Jupiter in Cancer. Saturn in Scorpio and Neptune at home in Pisces. So they're all big, slow moving planets and they're just going to kind of be sitting. It's almost like a still point. We're coming to this place of rest. And this is very much uh, kind of supported by the Mercury retrograde. Typically Mercury retrograde, uh, it goes until July 20th. But it's typically a time where it can be frustration, where you don't feel like you're moving forward, where things are getting in your way. Technology, travel not is not working for you because it's our planet of communication. But Mercury is all also in Cancer. And so this Mercury retrograde is actually an opportunity to step back and take a break and be in this water energy, be in this still point, be in this place where you can harmonize all of the changes. We've had great upgrades in um, in, in energetic upgrades, uh, solar flares, uh, downloads, uploads. And so we need this grand water trying to harmonize in our bodies all of these changes that are happening on the planet and that have been happening in our life over this year so far because that we've had Saturn retrograde really asking us to reevaluate the structures in our life to be more in alignment with our truth. Now it's exciting because Saturn goes direct on the 8th of this month and that's also the same as the day is the new moon and so this new moon is in cancer as well so we've got Ma uh, mercury in cancer we've got jupiter in cancer and the sun in cancer and so a lot of this nurturing energy for the self and the earth um, and on this new moon we're going to be feeling it's a great time to start a new nurturing routine for yourself um, taking care of yourself on a deep level recognizing that um, in the truth of quantum physics that uh, we have the whole universe within us that uh, maybe we can start here at home we have that Jupiter expansive energy broad perspective at home in cancer so we're being asked called and supported into coming into our body making our body our home and when we can do that heal and nurture ourselves we also are healing the earth because we're all one and everything is within us and we are everything and so that's a really beautiful time to um to feel that now the saturn going direct on the eighth there with the new moon we're not really going to feel that direct motion of saturn until mercury goes direct on the 20th and so we're going to still we're going to be in that this grand water trine this nurturing energy and this time to just kind of sit back and be with our process not try to get too much done uh, when mercury gets frustrating things don't work right it might be time to say oh i just need to take a break so use this mercury retrograde as a time to step back and get perspective um, and just kind of it's not a time to take big action in your business or your personal life make any big decisions it's just time to be and be in this still point and it's perfect for this month of july go to the water nurture yourself recognize nurturing yourself as nurturing the planet is what jupiter is calling us to realize in this grand water trine um now um mars also goes into a grand water trine um and it moves into Cancer at the middle of the month. So then we'll have some more Cancer energy and Mars is our fighter planet and our doer planet. But in Cancer, it's kind of a little bit more laid back. And um, 
but it's interesting because it comes into the grand water trine and then it gradually moves at the end of the month into a square with the backdrop of all of this that's happening which is the um, uranus pluto square the 2012 astrology of revolutionary change on the planet and within ourselves and so it's kind of like this backdrop behind everything else that's going on and mars is going to really activate this as it comes into that um, moves from the grand water trine into this t-square and at that time of the month we're going to have this mars energy coming into that square is going to bring some kind of fight or energy some forward motion into this what is this change about and it may be that we have some a lot of disclosure or um things coming to the surface about the truth of what's really going on uh perhaps in our personal lives but also politically and on the global scale um so it's going to be some real forward motion happening and energy moving uh, near the end of the month so just kind of enjoy this three weeks of mellow energy because on the 20th mercury goes direct and that's when we're going to feel that saturn direct and we're going to be really evalu reevaluating in our life what this saturn retrograde has been about which has been happening since the beginning of the year and this is reevaluating our structures but saturn is also uh it's this it's the planet of limitation it's a planet of um obligation and it's kind of the planet that that represents the authority within us um, our own authority this father god image and um it's it's interesting because we also have chiron has gone retrograde last month chiron which is the wounded healer and with this grand water trine and and also this energy of um of of neptune has gone retrograde last month and um coming mars coming into the square and all of this forward motion at the end of the month we're going to have a lot of real action a real kind of coming forward of everything that's gone on but the grand water trine is an opportunity for us to recognize that when we came into duality in humanity God became outside of ourselves and when God was outside of ourselves then we had evil and we've had struggle and we've had persecution and we've had all of these energies that feel like they're working against us so it's really interesting what I was saying with the mercury retrograde feeling like everything's going against you it's kind of a little mini a microcosm of that energy and um, with this grand water trine Chiron retrograde Neptune retrograde our mystical part of ourselves we have a platform to just step right out of struggle to just decide that we are no longer wounded. Uh, we no longer want to play this game of, of this forces working against us. And when we decide in our personal lives, we change our thought pattern, our belief systems around that, um, as Saturn goes direct and the Grand Water Trine supports this process, then we can step right out of this illusion that we've had around um, struggle that life needs to be hard and that we have to punish ourselves. Um, and it's, it's, really beautiful because um we also have uh this energy supporting us um as we uh, move into this mercury direct at in july 20th now on the 21st the sun goes into leo and that's going to be a big shift because leo is fun loving and it's confidence and and um it's also uh feeling like you can accomplish things and get things done and so with saturn and mercury going direct and then the sun moving into leo and that mars energy coming out for the fight okay i'm ready to fight for this i'm ready to stand up and say this is no longer true for me a lot of people say that the grand water trine can be kind of illusionary and um you know this false sense of peace but it's interesting because the real illusion is this illusion of struggle and that we have to make life really hard for ourselves and so we have this beautiful opportunity to just step right out of that paradigm and into a whole new world now this is going to be really activated on the 22nd with the full moon in aquarius because we have this backdrop of the uranus uh pluto square the 2012 astrology this revolutionary change that's happening on the planet and um both mars and jupiter are in this grand water trine and then mars at the end of the month moves into a square uh with this pluto uranus so it's joining the party and it's joining the party with some fight so that's where we're going to kind of see some things revealed to ourselves and on the planet of what's really going on and start to be able to make the changes within ourselves that can also change the planet and um 
so we have all of this energy towards action and then Saturn going direct. It's like, okay, so what's our life look like now with this whole different way of seeing things as I step out of the illusion of struggle and into the dream of the life that I want to create? What does that look like? We're going to start really seeing all of this information, this brewing that's been going on under the surface because Saturn's in Scorpio, which is our deepest inner depths of ourselves. And so we're going to kind of see this start to come out and be like, oh, I can move in this direction. Direction. I can, I, I can um, make changes this way. I can create this business the way I want. I can create my life the way I want it. So tons of energy for that. And so use this grand water trine throughout the month. This the still point to come into clarity. Take a deep breath. Nurture yourself. Forgive yourself. Um, be sweet with yourself. And then as we move into the action um, into next month, where we have the Sun in Leo and we have um, this Mars energy activating uh, this square with uh, Uranus and Pluto, and then in August Jupiter moves into that square. And so we're going to be having some very broad perspective. We got that Mars fighter energy, and then Jupiter coming into the square, being like, "Hey, everybody, let's step back and take a look at this. Let's get some broader perspective." And that bird's eye view is going to help a lot of people come to understanding about what's really going on on the planet, what's really happening inside of ourselves, and also on a global political level. And so we're going to really really be feeling this revolutionary change uh, on the planet and individually as we move into August. But we've had this grand water trying to harmonize, get our bodies used to the new energy, um, give ourselves permission to step out of struggle and move into the paradigm of our new reality, what we want to create. Because as God is no longer outside of ourselves, uh, we now get to create our reality just the way we want it to be. And just sitting with that and asking yourself, what would life really be without struggle? How attached am I to this struggle? If my life and my path were completely open and clear for me to create my dreams, how comfortable would that be? We're a little bit more comfortable with the with the difficulties, the struggles, something to complain about. We're addicted to it as humanity. And this, all of this energy is just calling us to have the opportunity to step right out of that paradigm and into our new dream of what we want to create. And, um, and this water energy is just so supportive and recognizing that those changes we make on our inner sphere create, change the whole world, change the whole earth. The healing that happens within us in this grand water trine also heals the earth. We're being called with Jupiter and Cancer for this next year. What does it mean? Have perspective, broad perspective on being able to be home in your body, owning your body, owning your health, bringing light into your body, and then also what it means to be at home on the earth. So great energy for connecting deep into Mother Earth and feeling that uh, connection. And so just enjoy this month and be ready for the action that's coming next month and all of the Leo fun And um, as we move into our new paradigm. And so just be sweet with yourself and nurture yourself through all of these changes and enjoy the water energy. Namaste.